blood, isn't it? And go for the American blood. When American says we are giving you loan for 30 billion shillings, they say, wow, 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 wow. Have you looked at the conditions? Do you know which kind of loan do we need? Do we need conditional loans they are going to give us? So how prepared are we to go to the national stage, especially in terms of our domestic issues? Yes. Secondly, our competency yes. to go there, but also the agenda in that place. Who has defined it? I can tell you without a doubt, Americans have defined the agenda, putting in front their national interest. But William Ruto must have gone for personal interest. He wants to look good, so you look good, but um, um, you look good, but far from good because you are getting nothing from this deal. So according to me, how do you look good? Who is your team? Yes. The team that will make you win these wins we are talking about. Now we go back now to your question you're asking about the president is Pan-African. Uh, he appears to look so. Is it the time to put his terms and conditions, isn't it? And let me go back again. Do you know the size of American economy in terms of GDP, GDP compared to Kenya? How significant is Americans' GDP that you can negotiate against? So if you look, do you, can you tell me what is Africans' wild card? Kenyans' wild card is only entry to the Middle East, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And now that you can play with, not saying, let us look for how you want to trade with us, because that is the wild card Africa, actually William Ruto should use very strongly in this deal to say, no, what's happening? You want our cooperation to the Middle East. You want you are asked to help you to keep Africa as a peace haven. You have your military base in Kenya, all these things, isn't it? I would like, but does he have the people with the right person? Then second,